So since I last cut my lawn at an inch and three quarters, I've since let it come back up to that, that next setting on D on my time master, which I think is two and a half inches or so, maybe a little less than that, maybe two and a quarter, two and a half. And I think that's really the money height right now for me. But what I wanna do is I wanna try again at an inch and three quarters, but this time when I try it, I wanna make sure that um, I'm not getting into the thatch layer as much. Last time I was kind of getting into the thatch layer when I was cutting. And this isn't level by any means. I mean, we're not, we're not real mowing here. Um, but the thatch was getting in the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean cut this at uh, setting D on the Time Master, two and a quarter, two and a half, whatever that turns out to be. And then I'm gonna hit this with my um, Greenworks dethatcher and just kind of clear out that thatch layer a little bit, make for a more cleaner cut on setting E, which is an inch and three quarters. So we'll go ahead and cut this and then we'll go ahead and dethatch and then we'll cut again on setting E and see what it looks like back at an inch and three quarters and maybe even hit it again with double dark. So let's go ahead and get to it. So the first pass is done and got up quite a bit of material, so that's good. So now you have not you have a couple of choices. You can either go ahead and hand rake all this up and throw it away. I'm just gonna take the lazy route and go over it with my mower and just vacuum it up. I'm gonna go again with the deep thatcher in the other direction and see how much more material I can get up after that. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and um, vacuum it up again. So I think that's probably the easiest way to go. And yeah, we'll just get all of that unwanted material out of the way. <laughs> so before I get started on the second pass with the deep thatcher going in the other direction, I can already tell a difference when I walk on the grass. It already feels softer and that's, that's really nice. Big difference already. It does look kind of stressed and a little beat up, but that's kind of to be expected. That's kind of what I'm doing to it. Um, but I know that in the long run it's going to help a lot and yeah, should be fine. Um, I definitely want to keep, keep the experiment alive and see how much further I can take this thing down. So yeah, let's get to that second pass.
Okay, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, I think I've mowed my front lawn enough today and it just needs to rest for a while and kind of recover. There's so many stripes left from the dethatcher and they're like really well-defined stripes. I think the grass looks pretty good considering what it's just been through and we'll give it a few days to kind of recover from that. I'm gonna go ahead and mow the backyard right now and then depending on what time it is and how much time I have, I might put down something out here. So why didn't I cut lower today? The grass has taken kind of a beating today, first of all, and I don't have any more room in my green waste bin. It is full. Pretty well filled it up today, and uh, that will get picked up in a couple days. And then on Tuesday when I'm out here, I'll go ahead and go for it, take it down. So I just finished mowing in the backyard, and I decided that it wouldn't hurt to put a little something on the front yard just to kind of help it recover a little bit from its uh, busy day today. So I'm going to hit it with three things today. First thing is going to be the double dark. I'm going to hit it with the double dark again. If you missed that video, I'll put a link up here so that you can go watch it. And then I'm also going to be using Simple Grow Solutions uh, Soil Hume. This has seaweed and humic and folic acid in it. So. That goes down at 10 ounces per thousand, so that's gonna be kinda of heavy. But we're gonna put these all three down and give it a few days and see how the grass recovers. So again, that's that's gonna be all for me today. Not gonna to do any video of me putting this down. If you wanna see a video of me using my ortho hosen sprayer, um, go ahead and just uh, check out last the last video I did. And um, I'll put links to all of the stuff I've used in the video today in the description below. And thank you for watching, appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video.